Yeah, what's up guys? Um, welcome to this video. This is online to help. Uh, it's nice having you around uh, our YouTube video today. Um, if this is your first time of checking on our video, you can just please uh, try and subscribe and like this video just to stay updated on more content about this SMTP and video marketing system. So in this very video today, I want to show you guys um, the tools you actually needed in building a private SMTP server. The private SMTP server is just a system which allows you to send unlimited emails on your own server without using any third party application or any third party medium. And this um, SMTP server will actually help you in eating um, add inbox instead of using um, third party SMTP server and uh, the beauty of this is that you own the server you are in charge of the server it's not being owned by a third party you are the third party here because we're going to build it afresh from the beginning to the end which you can use for your spamming work you can use for your um, marketing you can use to sell your product you can use for your inner market whatsoever that you promoted on the internet space Okay, what are the tools you needed in setting up your own SMTP server? Uh, before I go, okay, let me just start from the beginning, then I'll show you how it's going to look like after you develop the server. All right, guys, we have two um, SMTP server. We have the poster. SM let me open the notepad for this. Uh, okay, we have the no. Uh, we have we have the poster. SMTP and uh, we have uh, the power MTA SMTP. So, what are the difference between this kind of SMTP? Booster SMTP is a free license, is a free license tool. Um, uh, this power MTA is a, it's a licensed tool. Now you can just ask me what is the difference between the free license and the license tool as just it implies the functionalities um the capacity to send bulky email is different when we talk about the free and the license one. The free open source um allows you to send bulk unlimited emails but not as fast as the power MT which is the license license tool. Okay, guys, if you are going for poster SMTP, what are the requirements that you need? The number one thing you need is a domain, you need a domain name, and uh, you also need a VPS machine. A VPS machine, and when you are getting your VPS, you will be using Ubuntu in this case, you'll be using Ubuntu window in this case. Okay, guys, so once you have this um, ready, you need to actually connect uh, your domain. You actually need to connect your domain with your VPS. We have a video on our YouTube channel that actually show you how you can connect your domain with your VPS. So when you connect your domain with your VPS, then it's time for you to run the poster command. Poster command. And after running this poster command, then you're going to have uh, your results coming out. But let's talk about the Power MT SMTP. So what are the things you needed on the Power MT SMTP? You also need a domain on Power MT SMTP. You also need a VPS machine. And uh, this time around, we're going to be using CentOS as our window CentOS window. After getting this ready, you need a putty. You need putty, or you can just get a bite bite to use. Okay, on Power MTA, there are different ways you can actually build your SMTP server. We have the manual method, and we have the auto installer method 
Okay, let me take you back to my internet space, to my browser. So this is my internet and this is the browser space. And don't forget, we are talking about a VPS. And uh, you can actually get your VPS from uh, two way, um, two websites which are recommended. You can get it from Contabo, you can get it from Digital Ocean, you can get it from OVH. But okay, if you are getting your VPS from Contabo, you can just open this Contabo.com and uh, you need to select your um, VPS machine. But actually, for me, I use OVH Cloud. In building my SMTP server for my clients, I use OVH. Now let me just take you to my dashboard and see how it. Okay, this is just um. So this is actually the dashboard. I have a server which is currently running right now. You can see this is the domain which has been built and this is the stuff um reverse DNS which has been set up on the server. Good. So you get your VPS machine which is comfortable from this um and we make use of bike bikes so uh, this is just how bike bikes looks like and uh, we use um this interface to run our command so you run your command one after the other let's check for the host name of the server and see what we are. you can see the host name is this meaning that i can access my smtp using this method okay let me open this um, browser and see how I can access my SMTP server with this. Uh, okay, good. Okay, here is my server being running. This is the client's SMTP server. It's currently running. You can see this how it's going to look after it's been set up for you guys. This is how it's going to look. So, um, let me take you back to our notepad. And uh, what we stopped is that you get a byte device which you can actually use to run all your commands online including your SMTP server so we have a full course whereby we trained you 101 using a YouTube I'm sorry using a tutorial guide course which has already been prepared from A to Z from how to get your domain even if you don't know how to buy a domain how to get your VPS from where to get your VPS and the a full tutorial guide on on how you can set up your own SMTP server and start sending unlimited emails every day with no delay. Alright guys, but before we go after the whole setup, we use a software because you actually need to use a software um, in sending out your messages. But before I show you the software, let me just show you the configuration file of this SMTP which you can actually use um during the process of setting up okay let me say this is the configuration file that we use during the process of we setting up this smtp you are seeing on the screen right now for our client all right guys so you can see this the interface um this is um, the configuration file which we actually use in building up our smtp server it has been written and if you are getting this course from us you're going to be getting this file along with it you're going to be getting everything you need and uh, at the same time we built smtp server at a very reasonable uh, rate we will also build smtp server for anyone that needs and uh, after the whole setup you're going to be getting your smtp credentials info just at, just like this so it's going to come in form like this the host name the username the password the port from um this is actually where you can uh this is actually where you can um, track your smtp monitor this is actually where you can track it so you use the information you'll be getting and you're going to be using a software you can actually use ultra miller this is ultra miller software which i recommend you can use gamadi miller you can use tubo miller um you can use super miller anything you have that sends email once you can actually put in your smtp configuration inside so this what we'll use uh, and uh, these are the information we've already set up for the client and you can make a test from this place to see if it actually deliver into emails inbox okay so that's online to help at gmail.com or uh, you can see we have uh, six thousand zero four five cents uh in does and what have been said so far is three hundred and ninety six meaning that most of the mail you are sending here is same value which the client is sending the same value so it's very very crucial to note that 
when you are sending email make sure the mails are valid so it won't affect your reputation on the internet space okay so now let's try to make um, a send message to our mail you can see uh, i'll click on send text and you see send message send success so you can see um from this i can actually reload you can see this 50 and um, this has been sent successfully you can see instead of um, 396 it's now 397 no, now let me open my gmail and let's see if it actually sent okay there's online to offer gmail and i'll go to my gmail so i'll go to gmail.com loading let's see if it's going to enter into our gmail box and boom you can see um you can say you can say this uh let me open this out you can see reply to poster at sensors you can see we can actually check what we send here you can see this you can see our smtp server and uh, let me go back here and see the smtp server sent from you can see it's been sent from where is it okay okay this from reply to okay this is from you can see it actually delivers straight into inbox so these are the method and these are the things you all needed to set up your own smtp server if actually you want to learn how to build but we can still help you in building your own smtp server if you want us to so guys if this is your first time of checking this video and you've done so well um by watching this video just go on the description below this video to get our contacts on our social media on the telegram on the whatsapp or any other of our, any of our social media that is being convenient for you you can actually reach us out reach out to us and we'll be available to reply your messages thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and like this video and share to your